Hey guys, welcome back to Rack of Lamb. This is Maggie, and today's video will be a special one, as my mother-in-law will be showing us how she makes her Vietnamese ham. I also have a guest voiceover from her eldest son, who's also my other half, Steve. Make sure you stay tuned for a surprise from my mother-in-law at the end of the video. Hi everyone, this is my mother-in-law, Lynn. Hi. Today, I will be featuring her in my video because she will be showing us how to make <laughs> For the Vietnamese ham, you will need 4 pounds of pork loin or any other lean cut of pork or chicken, oil, fish sauce, sugar, white pepper powder, baking powder, and potato starch. Now the tedious part. Begin by slicing your pork loin into smaller pieces. For those of you who are not familiar with this dish, it's similar to cold cuts. You can eat it straight out of the fridge or hot, simply by searing it. Personally, I like to eat it cold, especially with my whiskey. Like most Asian parents, my mom doesn't like to waste food. So here you see her trimming the fat to its inner membrane. After slicing the meat, my mother-in-law grinded them up in her 14-cup food processor in four separate batches, although you may choose to grind up more at a time. Grown up Zaw was one of the many special treats that I recall my mom making us. I remember my brothers and I coming home starving after playing for hours outside. Finding this gem in the fridge was like hitting the jackpot. completely grinded, add the following ingredients. 4 tablespoons of potato starch, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 4 tablespoons of oil, 2 of which she will add later, 4 tablespoons of fish sauce, Two bags of baking powder, each containing two and a half teaspoons, which makes it a total of five teaspoons. Between five to six dashes of white pepper powder, and eight tablespoons of water. By the way, you may have noticed earlier that Maggie left something for my mom to mix with, but she chose the traditional method instead. Much faster, but messier. My mother-in-law instructed me to place the pork in the freezer for 6-7 to seven hours, let it thaw for another hour, then grind it once again before wrapping and boiling them. The next morning, I grinded the meat the second time in 3 separate batches. The freezing and grinding supposedly creates elasticity in your Vietnamese ham. After grinding each batch of meat, I was instructed to shape them into logs and wrap them in aluminum foil. While my mother-in-law uses foil, you can also use banana leaves.
I must say, as kids, we didn't fully appreciate all the time and energy that went into making this ham and ultimately feeding the family. My mom is so hardworking and dedicates all of her energy to raising us. If you meet her, you'll see she can never sit still and does everything extremely fast. What may have appeared to be continuous grinding and wrapping, I ended up with six logs of uncooked ham. While my pot of water was boiling, I began to double wrap each of my Vietnamese ham. I was told to tie the foil to prevent water from seeping in during the boiling process. However, since I didn't have any strings or twine, I went to plan B. As instructed, I then boiled the ham for a good 40 minutes. When the timer was up, I removed the ham from the boiling water. The discoloration of the aluminum foil is normal. I probably could have waited until the ham has cooled before I began to unroll them, but I was overly excited. Please be careful as they are extremely hot. Wow, just wow. And I have nobody else to thank but my mother-in-law for this recipe. What Maggie hasn't mentioned is this video also commemorates my mom's 70th birthday. So we leave with these messages to our mom. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mama! We love you! Sanya 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 I love you! we love you! We love you! Mother, they sang gong, sang ya fai long, they say do die. Ma chow the day, the day, the night, more lucky. Gum chi the day, hey, wan, sang ga ya cha hai be ma hui sum. Ma sik yi ga yu sik yim hurong sao. Sikhi Ta ca chào mừng a linh mong a linh sang vật phải lo
Oh, oh, oh.